Welcome. Uh, today we're doing our next installment of our, our uh, axioms. Uh, we're doing two today as usual, uh, and they'll go rather simple. Here's the main idea. The main idea is that there are some things that are like water. Um, let me explain what I mean by that. I keep going back to the analogy with the colors because the colors analogy is so powerful. It tells you everything. Think about this. What if you had yellow and you mixed it in there in your mixing recipe and you mixed it with water what color do you think you'd get? You wouldn't get pink or red or blue you'd get more yellow, maybe slightly watered down but the composition of the color would not change this does not uh, change the colors, it does nothing it does nothing, this should be called the do nothing axiom water does nothing and in fact this turns out to be a beautiful analogy, the perfect analogy to understand the things in algebra. It's amazing how perfect analogy fits because in algebra, let's go to the next page here, uh, in algebra we have uh, the additive identity and it's going to act a lot like water in the world of addition. Let me tell you what it says here. So suppose I have um, uh, three here, the number three, and I throw it in there into the bucket full of uh, mixing recipes here, the mixing recipes addition and suppose I throw something in there and it does nothing well we're not going to have water per se if it was water you still get three but the water element for addition is not so much water in fact you can probably guess what it is it's this number we call zero when you put zero in there it acts like water zero does not change three and you still get three in fact, it doesn't change anybody. You could go, uh, you could, I could put a blank here, and I could add, put zero here, and I'll bet you I'd get the same thing. If I have, uh, for example, five, five plus zero, well, you still get five. You see, I told you. Um, three, three plus zero, well, you still get three. See, it does nothing. Zero does nothing when you, when you add it to anything. If I have, uh, for example, x, well, I still get x. And so, well. What it, and it goes the other way around too. Um, let's do it the other way. Suppose I have zero plus anything, and uh, I will get the same things. So if I have, for example, um, eleven, zero plus eleven will still give you eleven. Zero when you mix it with any other thing, it acts like water. Nothing happens. That, my friends, that's the additive identity. Let's say it in a fancy way. In a fancy way, we could say that uh, a plus zero is still equal to a or 0 plus a is still equal to a. It says both of these things. You could also use commutativity to go from this to the other, but it might be a little cleaner just to adopt both versions as the additive identity. Um, what next question you'd want to address would be, well, what which numbers does it apply to? It applies to everything, all the numbers, all the symbols, and all the variables, and all the terms that we have in our class. It applies to everything. And, of course, we just practiced it a little bit. Um, practice it some more. You could have, uh, for example, anything. You could have a house. House plus zero, well, that would still be equal to a house. Money plus zero, well, that would still be equal to money. And on and on and on and on. All right. You'll have a chance to practice this on the um, flashcards that I'll post this week. It's easy, right? Let's go on and uh, do the uh, twin version of this. These always come in pairs. There's no exception today. Uh, the other version would probably be for multiplication. So, time talk is cheap, let's do it. Um, to, uh, for multiplication, what do you suppose it says? Well, it would say uh, almost identical. I have a, a mixing recipe here, but the mixing recipe is times. If I throw in there and uh, throw three in there, what would I have to throw in there so that I still get the same thing that I start off with so that nothing's been colored onto three? Nothing's been affected. Well, I could throw a one in there. And I could say that 3 times this is equal, still equal to 3. Well, if the number is 1, it works. In fact, it works for anything other than 3. Any of the numbers in our class. Uh, most of the numbers in our class, I should say. So, um, in a fancy way, it says that any number A... Wait. Any number A times 1 will still be equal to A. Or you could flip it the other way. Any one times any number is still equal to a. Okay. 
that's what the multiplicative identity says. Um, by the way, all of these you should be able to look them from le look at the axioms from left to right as well as from right to left. You should be very very comfortable both ways. So the other way around, it would say that a is the same thing as one times a, or a is the same thing as a times one. All these say the same thing. We will call all of them the same thing. We will call them the multiplicative identity axiom. This is the icon. This is the uh, initials for it. Capiche? And of course, just to make it uh, thorough, we will talk about what number does it apply to. All the real numbers from our class, all the variables and terms that represent real numbers um, for our class. Okay. And of course, we just practice it a few times. Here's how you'll often see it. You'll often see it like with the variables. You'll say x is the same thing as 1 times x. Or sometimes you'll see it with x squared. x squared is the same thing as 1 times x squared. Or sometimes you might see it with fractions. 2 thirds is the same thing as 2 thirds times 1. Even though we don't know what a fraction is yet, we know it's a number that will be in our class. And that's good enough for us to know that this axiom applies to all the numbers and all the terms and all the variables that represent real numbers from our class. So that's from our class. It'll be okay. 1 times it, it acts like water. It doesn't do anything to it. Clear? That's what the multiplicative identity says. Uh, multiply by one, nothing happens. It's a multiplicative identity. Multiplicative water. Okay, it's the multiplicative zero. Um, add by zero, nothing happens. Zero is the additive water. Okay? Pretty easy. I make it look easy. That's why they pay me. Um, all right, let's summarize that. Multiplicative identity. 1 times anything is the same thing. 1 times a is a. 1 times a is a. a times 1 is a. Nothing happens when you multiply by 1. a could be any symbol. Uh, additive identity. Um, a plus 0. Still a. Nothing happens when you add a 0. Other way around. 0 plus a. Nothing happens. You still get a. Works for any a. Additive identity. That's it. See you guys next time.